catch Cloud9 completely off guard. You say that, though. They've already taken B. Like, this would be a better setup if they were a little bit quicker, which I know they did run straight down middle, but at least now the T side can at least turn their gaze. The bomb just about going to be planted, and Stan has turned this already into their favor with the trades going three back from him. However, it doesn't matter. Daps is going to get three of his own. Too much of the inner workings of him, but I think it's the pressure he puts on himself. Like, just to perform within the roster, it doesn't matter who he's playing against. Either way, Ethan already going to start up with a double in what is their first buy round. And it's only really the SMG's lost so far. Mixwell gets his sixth kill of the game already. Off to a flying start here. And oh, Ethan just still going strong. They can't kill him. He's got three now. He manages to fade back into the site. Still no rotation. The CT's... Finally going to start making a move back. He spot out 10s, but he wins the duel. Now there's actually a chance to rotate this weapon back, but that smoke's missed. It gives Stan some space. It seems like the T side is still questioning which direction they actually go in for now, and I think then 10s is going to be dead to right. Leaving just Mixwell left in a one versus two. He'll have a 1v1 whichever site he goes to. He's going to face up Stan, who wins the battle too. And Tarek might have himself a kill. He spots out Kusta. Now he knows the rotation hasn't come through towards B just yet. He's got two more to find, and there's the first mixed one out, trying his chances. And eventually they're able to take down Tarek. Down, not gonna switch his gaze. Oh, the timing's gonna be everything. He turns away just at the wrong moment and rush. So at least it was a half given away by Daps. And now here comes the push. Flashes as well. Ethan gonna be alone in the actual site. Gets some good damage done and Terra connects onto automatic. Problem is they've lost out on quite a few players. Stanislaw and Breezy gonna fall. And that was over towards the A site. But they're still gonna go for the plant towards B. Still two orbs and a retake. No kit. He's probably gonna have quite a few insights. Mixwell's managed to get one opener but Cirque more than aware of this rotation will get the pick back. The pit stand's gonna go down. The question is, do they expect the second? And well, once again, in the meantime, all these players just seemingly getting dropped. This left onto Mixwell and Cirque. Too quick on the trigger. Again, yeah, look at this. They're not gonna expect that. And Ethan Push has been at the same time. He's got a lot of damage, even though he did fall. Stands out there to back him up. And Breezy does get daps in middle. Automatic's gonna peek out. Cirque's gonna be protecting his teammate. Up against the four survival players out of Evil Geniuses. Well, now three to apps. I think 10's getting out of here is going to be fairly difficult and, well, yeah, Sarg's not going to give him a chance. Towards the B site, though, for the rest of his team, and well, Tarek's going to be there, and Tarek, well, he wants more kills. He's going to peek back out, get deep done. He's not able to hit the shots. Ethan actually is going to fall, and just like that, it's become extremely costly for the CT side. The bomb should be planted, too. Guns being picked up for Cloud9. And now they have a realistic chance to take this round if Mixwell can hit some shots. Yes. Getting a little bit over the top, but... But now, things are going very well for Cloud9. There's Stan, the only one left to really try and fight this is Breezy's a little bit far behind. He does have a kit, but I'm not sure how he's going to be able to win this round. They do have the money for it, but Mixwell, four kills off the back of the AWP. Just to section him off so that he can't have too much vision. We'll be missing the initial shot and burning all the way down. Just six HP remaining. They should know that Ethan's going to be here somewhere. He's always playing the B site, and well, Eventually, he chimes in with a kill. He's left on Takusta in a one versus two. Already tagged down, and there's a rotation coming in from Breezy as well. I think he'll have an idea that there's going to be someone in CT spawn, but the chance of him surviving this is low. I'm actually quite surprised he's managed to get this far into the site, and he's just hoping that Ethan peeks him. Breezy holding so far back. There's actually a good chance he gets this kill. It's just where can he plant the bomb? Trying to hide back. And he has got it. He's got the plant. There's nothing that Breezy can do about that. He even goes for the shot, but Breezy's going to win that duel. And oh my goodness, I just saw some emotion out of Kusta. Able to retrieve an extra smoke. By the looks of this, it might just be a bit of a fake. They're going to try and clear out some of these players. Tarek is going to spot. Both players pushing forward, but hasn't seen anything to do with the bomb, and thus the remaining players on A are not going to be rotating. Ethan also manages to pick off one more, and well, the idea here that 
This was meant to rotate all of the remaining players. Has not worked at all. There's still going to be a man sat in the pit. Daps does manage to at least get that kill, but Stan is still here. All he has to do is survive. Just try and hold on for the next few seconds. That's going to be easier said than done as he's executed by tens. However, he has... That will definitely open up this round so close to getting the kill onto tens, but now it's left all onto Cirque. Tens gets a triple to finish things off, and... I'm going to be going down. Similar scenario. Nice for Ethan to kick things off, but do they expect Tarek to still be in the squad? Well, it doesn't even matter. Zerg's just come in and killed everyone else. He's left it onto Mixo with just 6 HP and Daps, who at least had a smoke. The problem is there's still two players actually within the side. And Tarek's even going to walk it through. I think he wanted to try and get some kills, but they have a stack. This is pretty much as good as it gets. Bomb's going to hit the floor already. Tens is getting another kill. There's literal seconds for them to try and get these kills and get the bomb down and daps it's just going to be sitting on the bomb waiting it is already done you can see kusta running away but it doesn't matter because daps is going to win the round <laughs> me. let me win the lottery you pick it up the pace evil genius is charging straight through into the b side they've had enough of this game they want to close this out daps so looking to say something about it as he eventually will fall and they will get control of the site i like that switch in pace there to be honest oh. Spanish fans, E side. There's actually going to be some aggression out from the CT automatic, not having the best of games, and the spam through is going to make it even worse. Somehow, Kusta survived even longer than he did. Now, well, good luck, Mixwell. One versus four, trying to hold on to the A side. So many angles to check, and none of them are going to be the right one. Daps and tens. There doesn't seem to be anybody on this Cloud9 moment that can stop them. I, I think this is something they definitely need to work on. I said at the beginning of the half that. They're, like they're blue, but they're actually not. It's just a screw of people. Makes your eyes really pop. Ooh, thank you. Well, we're gonna have the push once again. Let's Without the bomb insult. this time. May not even need it. That's, we'll get a kill. Actually, Automatic has finally got back onto the board after a long hiatus. Bomb still sat in spawn. This is a very interesting round coming out of e Allow him a chance shot. Actually, Gosh. he's hit two shots through the wall. I kind of hope he gets the kill on Zerg. So It'll make things a little bit more interesting. He's hit three times with the Deagle. And now Zerg's going to kill him as well. That is the classic. He'll realize how much damage he's done. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Actually, fine. Let's push out here. Tens already able to get the opener. Bomb actually dropped in the open. Ethan's going to try and push further onto the site. In the last pistol round, we saw Daps with the triple, but also there was Stan with the triple. We'll see who's going to be stepping up this time already. Coming in on a hot flank in behind Stan. Finally, we're going to get that clock ticking, and the CT side are going to opt to try and overwhelm Stanislaw just to give them that advantage now going back into things. The problem is you do have three more terrifying players left to kill off on the evil geniuses. Mixwell will succeed with one, actually gets the second, and now Ethan has to try and clutch this out, and he's not going to be able to. Both players so ridiculously low. Oh, is he going to get the ninja defuse? To really show themselves too much either. Won't well, speak of that. Ethan trying to get down the ladder. Will take a hefty amount of damage, though, before he does get his feet back on the ground, and Stanislaw with a hell of a shot there out of the deagle. Ethan had some information of where they were going to be, considering he did get shot up. That's all in Stanislaw and Ethan to push it together. Mixwell in low health. He's going to fall. Now the last man alive. It's going to be tens and a one-on-one -on -one up against Ethan. He knows he has him low on health. But can he hit the shots? He's not going to be able to. Ethan strikes back. Gets his fourth kill. It's going to be coming in. Daps waiting. Daps and Ethan first. A little bit shaky on the shots, but eventually he will fall. And tens is going to be here as well. They need to deal with him. And actually, in the meantime, because he's Stanislaw flanking from behind. The problem is Tarek's already got the kill, so... Maybe the presence isn't needed out of him. And we also see Automatic trying to push up on the bomb train. He does take down Terry. He can search by himself. And now Stanislaw has to hurry. And he's going to have to deal with Kusta. Watch him. The defuse wasn't being stuck. actually going back through. And Kusta will get the kill. So Cloud9 do bounce back in the round. Looks to lead the charge. Breezy is going to be the first to be dropped. And Mixwell once again finds the opening pick. But can he continue this? Because last time he was caught out fairly quick. This time it's automatic to take the fall. He He's got so far forward, he realized, and Mixwell... Oh! <laughs> go walking through the smoke. This is just a weird round now. He's <laughs> been trying to get two kills! Just hiding! And finally, Ethan there to put him down. Luckily, the bomb has been planted, so the time is ticking. The question now is, has the student become the master?
He's got no kill. And he's got no kill. And no HP left, unfortunately. Ethan gonna clutch it out with another 3k. Well, I, th I think it was stunned every day as we're booking a cab and leaving him behind. But other than that, we, we love him. He's just, just not in our car. Oh, this is a lot of damage done, to be fair, though, on the side of Cloud9. And now Automatic does have the SG. Nate comes directly on top of him and dunking him. Kobe for Stanislaw. On this one, 15 seconds left to go. And they have to make their move. They're trying to commit towards CT spawn. They're running in towards Inner. And Breezy is able to take down Daps. Ten's going to be waiting. The bomb is going to make its way on towards site. The bomb should be planted here momentarily. It's quite a risky plant. But they're gonna get away with it, and well, now that it is down there, fairly well set up. Tens gets dinked, and Cirque dead as well. So Ethan and Tarek now gonna have to defend, and they, they don't really have those deeper positions they would have been hoping for. They're gonna be cleared up quite simplistically. Oh, that's so oh, risky. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that made me really uncomfortable. Now off of they go. Lots of damage being done. The T side somewhat struggling to make their way into this site. And that's because there's four defenders. The last man is actually holding off in case they rotate back. And now Kusta's even going to make his play forward. This should just be a slaughter on the B site. And the evil geniuses will fall without much of a fight at all. Now, start to get the last couple of rounds. I don't think it'll matter too much when going onto that CT side. They need a hero and Marl. That round ended so fast, they didn't even get to build any hype. Eight to seven. Cal main, but it seems like they're just splitting every direction and the bomb going down in pot. That's pretty much as bad as it gets for the T side. An impossible position to try and get that back from maybe tens if he pulls out some ninja skills and just jumps down and headshots Tarek. Maybe he can try and kill him from above. Both players unable to connect the shot to the bow, but Tarek, okay. Okay, he tried to play with his food a little bit here, and Ten's already going to be able to get one. The problem is there's only 15 seconds, and Zerk will headshot him anyway. Making his way forward, Booster's actually going to win his tool, and Automatic does as well. Maybe the pistols will be enough. It's left on to Zerk and Stan. Is Stan going to check the corner? Nope, so that'll be a free kill. And now Zerk left into a one versus four. This might find. Maybe some extra money in his pocket. Or not, or Kusa's is just going to kill him. So Kusa stays alive. Bounced onto the bomb site to deny that plant for a little bit longer. And it will mean that there's going to be less control of the site. And actually, more CT players have rotated in. They'll have the support of Cirque's AWP, although he is going to miss that initial shot. He's still someone that they have to worry about. But as you mentioned, there's no utility left. There's no kit. This is all just going to come down to raw individual battle. Stan is going to kick things off, but automatic holds. However, it's left all onto Mixwell. The Spaniard in North America trying to keep them in the lead in this round, but the Molotov holding him back, and that 10-second defusal continuing to happen. Don't even think he realized he had more of a chance to try and deny that, but ultimately saving the AWP. Go pushing in onto the side, but look at Daps. So perfectly placed. He could just ruin the round. He may not even need to. As Tens has found a kill instead, we're gonna watch the defense get crippled by Cloud9. We're now sat 13 to 9. And it's gonna be a fake thrown in from Kusta, but he does manage to get the opening. In fact, he gets a second. And while the bomb is gonna be planted on the B side, there's nothing that Stan can do to stop it. Ethan will find one. Stan has got another back though. And somehow this round just swings back into the favor of EG. It's left with Tens and Mixwell. Trying to hold on to this round. Tens goes down, but Mixwell's still fighting. Hovering above the flames as his opponents get ever closer. Just trying to hide within the site, burn down that clock a little bit more. They don't have a kit available to them, but Stan comes up from above and jumps on the bomb. And even Breezy's flanked in from Ivy, so they know the direction they're going. They're going to start to rotate back in towards the inner site. Flashbang's being thrown in, certainly to hit these shots, and he will get the first. Yeah, this is already looking fairly rough in terms of actually winning the round, but once again, the money is going to be made by Cloud9. They'll give themselves a big boost to their economy to trade out. Automatic trying to lead the charge to get Cloud9 around back on the board. Cirque, though, looking to say something about it. Terry does push through, but pushes to his death. Luckily, Ethan's going to be there to return. And Stanislaw not going to be expected out of Kusta. And that's going to be now a three on two in favor of Evil Genius. Just putting them onto map and match point. And Cirque actually might catch out. Daps and what a flick out of him. That was just a, But look where Stan is sitting. 
He's so well placed for this. I don't think Mixor stands a chance. And it is going to be that attempt to try and fight this back. Just be happy those are the only picks you're getting in your DMs right now. Yeah, please don't send me any, anything else. Thank you very much. Unless it involves Photoshop. Here we go. CT side once again have kicked this off with a bang. It's left on to Mixor and 10. Mixor should be able to sneak around the back. And I will at least give them a chance. Even retrieving an SG into his hands and somewhat isolating the CT side from the site. These are the two players, at least within this series, that you've wanted to have in these clutch situations. Molotov actually going to be extinguished and it's left all onto Mixwell. He manages that opening pick. He needs to get the quad kill to close this and he's just one kill away. Tarek going to be going for the defusal, but I think. Is, is he even going to stop him? He's going to go for the knife, but doesn't quite get there. Tarek is going to be there to close out the round, being a little bit sneaky with the defusal. And that is going to be EG taking the victory 2 to 0. They get this group 3 and 0 oh in the end. It was a bit of a rocky road along the way, but ultimately, the team we expected to come out.